Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers, Catbots, Captimus Prime. I already did the Capticon, but hey, I got a request for this one, so why not? There you go. Just back, you know, side by side, you got that deal. It's about the same thing, only it's just nice little Captimus Prime colors with a nice blue, red, big Autobot logo, just like you would expect. Autobot logo on the back. There's a little Transformer deal. Now, I'm not going to go too much in depth because it's pretty much the same new era. So, like I said before, I love the fact that Takata Tomy can take some risks with product placement. So, there you go. One last look at the box. And here he is. And yeah, just so you see a comparison there, yeah, it's a nice little red, deep red color, the 5950 New Era logo, not bad. So there you go, big red, New Era, Optimus Prime, Captimus Prime, <laughs> Autobot logo, shell former, no doubt. Ooh, it looks like it has some nice, I don't know if that's die cast, interesting. Well, let's go ahead and transform it. And see that button on the top? Same seams, same 8 out of 10 rating, though you have two colors, Vice 1 now. Yeah, pop it. Yeah, there we go. And the transformation. I like Captivus. He's more vibrant. <laughs> yeah, because it has more colors than the Capticon. And his head didn't spring out. There we are. Yeah, there we go. Transformation's easy. Flip out his... And you're almost complete when you do the little transformation, the, one, the spring button. Kind of like the activators, just rotate his shoulder joint like that and then you can rotate his hands he's got this underslung weapon which is a piece of the uh, cap there we go same thing with the other arm rotate ball joint rotate the elbow and there you go and that's it shell former you can put his little pieces to the side there and there you go same you can see more more of the articulation because it's not black like the decepticon the capticon so you can see it's ball jointed with a little weird joint on the ankle, ball jointed foot if you can call it that, knee, single jointed knee, ball joint on the hips, no waist articulation, like the cap, the cap is cool, look at that, neat, <laughs> nice shiny bright red color and I, I like that. So I do like this more, so shell former there, shell former pieces, more brightly colored as much much as I like the Decepticons, I, I do like Captivus more. He's got the these shoulder hinges. It doesn't tab anywhere, so that's a big minus on that one. Ball jointed shoulder, ball jointed elbow, uh, no wrist articulation, but hey, it's not that bad. I wish it came with weapons, but it's what you see is what you get. So, there you go. Short little dude, big feet. <laughs> I like the head. The head is neat. <laughs> Squat little dude, too. Wish it could extend some more, but hey, what can you do? There he is with Captimus. So if you want to see a nice little side-by-side -side comparison, <laughs> kind of neat in a sense. Short little figures, no doubt. Here he is with GI Joe. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a little deluxe figure in the back so you can kind of tell. So yeah, there he is. So yeah, they're short. Megatron can't hang with the rest of them. <laughs> there you go. I like them a little better than the Captimus and or the Capticon, just because of the vibrant colors. I, I really do dig the vibrant colors. Seven and a half out of ten. All right, for the robot mode. And one, one thing I want to point out is that's not diecast, but man, I, I do like the little diecast vibe that the, the, this paint provides. All right, that's all I got, YouTubers, and I catch you all next time.